Hey, Faith World, thank you so much for tuning in to The Voice of Faith. As you hear this message, we want to build up your faith and build up your hope in the Word of God. Check out this message from Pastor Jeremy. Hi, everybody. Pastor Jeremy once again on The Voice of Faith episode. So glad that you joined us today for a wonderful broadcast. I believe you'll truly, truly be blessed. Let me ask you a question that Jesus asked the Pharisees. Which is easier to say? as he said to the paralytic man, your sins are forgiven you, or to say, rise up and walk. That's found in Luke's gospel, chapter five, verse 23. But I want you to really pay attention to a couple words here. He said, which is easier? In other words, forgiveness of sins or healing? To you, one might seem harder than the other. But Jesus is saying they're both easy. The truth is, what is seemingly more difficult for man in the natural is not so for God. What you might see, let's say some kind of disease or sickness or a long-term disease might be difficult because you can see it, you can feel it, it's, it's something that is real in that natural realm to you. And forgiveness of sins, as far as that may go, may be easy for you because it's not in a realm that you can touch and feel and it's easy for you to receive. But Jesus said they're both easy. Forgiveness of sins and healing the sick or raising someone from their bed of sickness and disease is easy. The word easy keeps coming to me. Sins and sickness, they were dealt with at the same place. They were both dealt with at Calvary. That's why I said, which one's easier? Uh, It took the same effort, the same sacrifice, the same blood at the same moment, at the same time, in the same place to deal with both at one time. I want you to know something. I don't care what you're facing right now. If you can believe that you're forgiven from your sins, which I believe for a believer, we got that part down. If you can believe that, then you can believe God for whatever it is you're facing right now. Whether it's physical, whether it's financial, God's telling you today, it's easy for me. And it should be easy for you to believe too, because it doesn't require anything on your end. The hard part is already finished. And that was when God sent his son into this earth to become the sacrifice, to become the sin, to become the sickness, to become the disease. And he's saying to you today, whatever it is you're facing, it's easy for me. And I want you to have that just indelibly marked on the inside of your spirit, that for God, there's nothing too difficult. It's easy. He's saying to you today, which is easier? If I can forgive you of your sins, I can cover anything in your life. Think about this. Since God has done the harder and the greater miracle of having forgiven you of all your trespasses, there is nothing that he will not do for you. God's already done the greatest miracle, forgiven you of all your sins. The greatest miracle is forgiven you of all your trespasses. And so there's nothing left that he will not do for you. And he's saying to you, it's easy for me. And you know what? Let it be easy too for you when it comes to believing God. Know that he loves you. Know that because you're forgiven, everything else is covered. And know that the same work that he did at Calvary covered all that you would ever need, including forgiveness of sins. Glory to God. You know, that also paves the way for you to go before the throne of God boldly and use your faith and receive the bigness and the greatness of God and the vastness of his abundant supply for you at any moment. Glory to God, which is easier. What a thought today. I want you to know you might be facing something difficult in your life right now, but God sees it as easy. It's not too hard for God. And I want you to know it's easy for you to believe. Don't complicate things with religion, thinking that you've got a lot of do's and don'ts or things that you have to accomplish to get God to move for you. No, no, no. If you can believe, all things are possible 
for you. God bless you. I love you. Hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you next time on the Voice of Faith broadcast. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of the Voice of Faith. We believe that God is going to do some amazing things in your life. And before you go, we always want to give you an opportunity to give so that you can be blessed. The different ways that you can give are on the screen. Also, if you need prayer, we would love to pray with you. Just email, message, or call the church. Thank you so much for watching today and have a blessed week.